Hello, folks. Here we are, right on 702. Amazing. <laughs> For another Saturday Night Live Zoom. Ryan is trying to squeeze in here. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. Thanks for supporting, inspiring each other. This is why we're here, so we can keep inspiring each other in the, in our modern society, advanced societies, where uh, you know every second person or more is sick. <laughs> so <laughs> we want to kind of uh, live a, a little bit differently than that, you know. Um, it's not fun being sick, especially when you've experienced uh, being bedridden for a while. It's uh, it's not fun, but it was a beautiful experience, and it's all a lesson for uh, us to grow stronger. Um, as long as we uh, focus on on the outcome, because your wish is your command. Um, if you look at all the things that happen in your lives, you will see your wish really is your command. Just go back in your memory and think about everything you went through in life and think about your thought processes up to those points and you will see every single time your wish is your command. Because <laughs> when I look back and I go, my goodness, I created all that. <laughs> What do we do? We can change it, right? We can change it in an instant because from the, our new understanding, it's the intent and emotion is creation itself. First comes the thought and then the intent and the driving force of the emotion. The emotion is the driving force. And this is so powerful and it's such a challenge for people to grasp on how they can turn their lives around. What we're focusing on is health, but also um, peace, balance, and correct conduct, um, connecting with our source and so on and so forth. That's really the important thing because, you know, we're all here for a limited time. We make the best of it. Let's enjoy it. Uh, you know, there's so much beauty on this, in this realm. And we chose to come here. As, uh, I truly believe uh, we wouldn't be here if we didn't choose that. Um, so with that said, Choosing um, well-being is a choice. And um, I've been doing this for quite a while, you know, almost three decades now. And the main thing I see over and over with people who are not well is they're looking for something or somebody to fix their challenges. And they can't let that go. They're stuck in that searching out there when all the answers are in plain sight by going within. And once you can grasp that, just a little scratch, like what we've achieved, just we just scratch the surface of coming to that understanding, we see miracles happening. So this is why, you know, I'd like to say, you know, we just started, you know, in the next five, ten years, things are going to be more and more mind-boggling to what our understanding is now and then it just becomes a normal thing you know um just like you know living without three-dimensional foods for some people it's impossible ludicrous etc cetera, etc cetera. it's like okay whatever we have plants showing us right in front of our eyes day in and day out doing it <laughs> and there's other animals doing it there you know that's the one that comes to mind very quickly hibernates six, seven months a year. It's a big beast. Doesn't eat, doesn't drink. So if you don't believe it's possible, then it's, that's where you're at and that's okay. But um, we, uh, we have an understanding that everything is possible. Um, if we look in the history of many, many different things, of records and sports and et cetera, et cetera, things that were you know, thought to be impossible or just walk in the park these days you know like um uh you know guys doing flips in the air with motorcycles now you know if you look back at that for 20 30 years ago or whatever it would be impossible to do these kind of things you know like just giving you some examples there's so much you know four minute mile and many many other feats that uh you know look at uh, the the uh, wim hoff the Iceman. he's broken 26 world records <laughs> You know, staying under the ice the longest, swimming under 
under ice in the frozen lake the longest. It's, it's, it's an on and on. And running a marathon in the desert with no water. Um, he's uh, I don't know, he's got you got to look up. He's got he's got so many crazy records <laughs> climbing the mountains in shorts. You know, uh, many 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 records. Also a marathon in the in the winter in the cold in shorts. Uh, so you know when uh, when we understand that we have the potential to create you know anything it's it's uh everything starts changing in your life um well we go through challenges wouldn't be fun without challenges right <laughs> challenges keep everything interesting and uh make us uh either break or get stronger and it's always through our choices of which direction we, we want to go. Do we want to break down and give up? Or do we want to pursue and make the changes? Because we know that the changes are possible no matter what we direction we want to take it. And, you know, we can have superior health and many other things by just making that choice. And then, of course, you, you put in the motion, the emotion, the physical motion, to make it happen, manifest it. Um, if you look at um, uh, a lot of great uh, motivational speakers and so on and so forth, um, they're all in this line of things. Most of them were for, not most, but a lot of them were for, for financial stuff. And some, a lot, some of them are also in for the health and so on and so forth. So it's all the same principles. Uh, it's universal, um, no matter what you want to do in your life. But, um, you know, we have a simple roadmap on how to cleanse the body. And uh, I found that's the, the um, most simple way for people to take charge of their health, doing it, health and, and opening themselves up more spiritually um, and the connection with source, God, <clears throat> creation. Um, you know, it's, uh, I can only speak from experience and many, many other people have uh, also commented and shared the same thing after they started really getting to deep, deep cleanses of, of, uh, of cleansing the physical body. And these things are, uh, very simple to do now that we have a little understanding of how to clean the body properly. Is it easy? No way. That's why everybody's not doing it. <laughs> it's not easy, but the roadmap is simple. Um, we just have to come to the conclusion within ourselves that we really want that because uh, we see so many, and I've, through my experience, I've seen so many, yes, I, I want to get healthy, I'll do whatever it takes blah, 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 but that their mouth is saying one thing and their physicality and their lifestyle is doing another. So it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen until they mend the two together and, and go in the same direction by talking and doing it, actually what they're talking about. So it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing when uh, somebody takes charge and turns their health around. Oh, Ranjit is joining us. Hello, beautiful souls. Love you all. <laughs> Love you too. Um, let me get uh, a few people here. Oh, Margaret uh, joined us as well. Uh, Maria, Steve, Oliver, and Inga. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Ranjit. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got some... Think they want to share comments, questions. That's what we're here for. <clears throat> well, you know, I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Because it won't yeah. be only me. <laughs> oh, hello, Inga. How are you, beautiful soul? You, I love you, and everyone here. I love everyone here. But even such a great crowd. I mean, I can talk, but I prefer other to talk because. Uh, um, I don't have many questions except that I just trust in the soldier, you know, um, you know, getting ready for the 180 days, excited about that, being in um, La La Land um, for a couple of days, 
So mm. all these downloads still come through, especially if you stick to the hybrid and stick to that um, weekly dry fast and the monthly dry fast after you um, yeah. come off the 108 days consecutively because that just keeps everything in check. And I agree with you now, no proper dry, no proper fast is, is uh, unless it's a dry fast. But uh, I see where why you say that, because even if you are feasting, um, the, you're fasting more than you are feasting. You're always fasting and then you, then you um, feast as well. Right. So I'm just getting ready for that and I'm um, excited, writing down heaps of things and um, just trying to work out because all these downloads come and I'm right, and, it's, and the soul's asking me to write them down. So mm -hmm. I'm writing them down and trying to get used to that. But I had a little fear and um, my fear is um, I know I'm okay for the first three months because, you know, I've done that and I understand that. It's when you get past the three months four months and five months, um, you know, I, I'm trying to plan for that now. Well, <laughs> you know, you, 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 you have a fear because many people haven't done it. Yeah. But they have. There's people who have done it. <laughs> oh, no. I'm okay. I'm okay. I trust the soul. I know it's going to be fine. Yeah. And But just the confusion comes in, which I know it's the mind. It's the monkey mind that plays those games because uh, it's not safe. But I wanted to ask Rana about those two people that um, did six months previously on MFS. And I don't know, I couldn't find their interviews or um, if they gave you any information or what they said happened or if you can... That's a question I have for you. Yeah, um, so it was uh, Carl. And his brother. And his brother. His brother, we don't even... Uh, we haven't... He's not on social not media. Facebook, yeah. <laughs> Um, but Carl, did we interview him before or after? After. After the one, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you'll find him, Carl, um, his last Fruitable name. His... Yeah. Um, but, uh... Yeah, just uh, look up uh, Carl on YouTube, Massive Fast YouTube. Uh, you'll find the interview. Um, do you have specific questions? Maybe we can remember the answer. But, yeah. yeah. I want to, oh, the question I want to ask them is, did they stick 100% to the full MFS? Was there a certain part in the six months, maybe they went down to not, um, they um, didn't, maybe they took, had green drinks or something, you know, or, um, you know, to slow down the cleansing towards the end. And um, he, uh, yeah. they, they were one of the first on board to actually jump in MFS. And um, that was in the early stages when we didn't have everything written out in so much detail and so on and so forth after Rana did all that work. But um, so they were doing a lot of experimental stuff as well. Okay. And, the um, first one, right? Yeah, that was the first one. The second one, sorry. Uh, but the, and, and then uh, they, uh, they, I remember Carl, Carl saying it, they were running on pure like a pure willpower to keep going because it was all those emotions coming in to stop them. That's all the emotions were coming in every day, day in and day out to try and tell them that you're crazy about it because nobody's done it and it's all that crap's going through, you know, but you know, they pursued and they did their six months and uh, it was uh, very powerful, you know, very powerful. Um, uh, yeah. We have Mar Martin is yeah. still going, he's in his third year. Yeah. I completely agree with you about the motion stuff um, because I feel emotionally mature um, and so I actually feel confident with my emotions and how to deal with them as I go through it. And I understand like doing the 108 days is you've got to teach yourself um, how you deal with social occasions and um, teach, you've got to teach other people how they treat you. And so that and most of my people that I associate with know that I fast. They don't know that I'm doing a master fast, but they know that I do do that. And they're actually supportive uh, because otherwise, if they want to see me, they have to be. You know what I mean? Like, this is my life. Also, they want to have to accept and love me for my lifestyle. And so I, I, I get all that. And I've already planned my social calendar from March to the end of August. Like, there's not much going on in Brisbane around um, winter. Everyone hibernates. So it's really good to do it then. And there's not much fruit around. And so I've timed it so it suits me. And um, 
I think I'm going to be okay. But if I go a bit, the only thing that I have um, anything concerned with is because I know I go into the other dimensions and I know I fall into the meditative states and I know I have to ground, 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 ground myself. That's the only thing that I don't know what happens. You know how sometimes people fall into meditative states for days? And um, I know I can, I know when I fell into meditative states in the 108 days, I still functioned. Like I still was able to, the soul still helped me function. And I think that's probably, if there is a fear, that's it. It's uh, falling into meditative states for long periods of time and um, trying to make sure that I'm, you know, I, I'll be okay anyway, because as uh, long as I walk and, listen to the free to music, do the, um, um, do the breathing, the slow breathing and go out in nature and do all that stuff that grounds you, stretching, yoga, all those things, they yeah. support you to um, be here. Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah, I don't see Master Fast, uh, for Master Fast to be, like I don't see it as a problem for people to go six months. I think it's, it's, it gets easier maybe. Um, yeah, I think it will get easier. The only thing is that you don't want to push the dries, um, like just do the mineral uh, required dry fasting because that's where you will go deeper, maybe too fast. So just uh, keep it to, you know, the protocol. Yeah. I agree with you. I really agree with you. Keep those dry fasting to the minimal. And uh, I, I understand and I get that. And uh, look, oh, my beautiful friend, Olivia, Olivia uh, uh, Oliver Paul's here. How are you, beautiful? So, mwah, I love you. you. You're just a beautiful soul. And uh, if anybody wants to do, do it with me, <laughs> let me yeah. know. <laughs> we're, we're getting excited. <laughs> yeah, for a nice long one. I mean, there's nothing like long master fast. Uh, Oliver's been here for a day. <laughs> he... Uh, you see, my life is very simple. I'm pretty busy taking care of my mother and stuff. And uh, it's, uh, you know, we do what we have to do. But um, yeah. the, uh, the, the biggest thing is uh, we have to prepare ourselves. And, and like if we're going in social events or whatever and whatever. So we, we're prepared to how, do, how are we going to, you know, um, not offend anybody and um, not feel offended, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, because these social things, you know, they're all about food pretty much or drinking. And you need to be able to feel confident and strong in these situations. And just, uh, um, just you know, even if you're enough dry fast, carry a, a glass and go dump some somewhere once in a while on a plant or something. I don't know. <laughs> just hold it. Nobody, nobody's gonna know if you're drinking or not. I remember somebody mentioned they were holding a plate with food and they weren't eating. Nobody noticed. <laughs> so you know, sometimes you know, science is the best to, to get through these things, and also uh, avoid these situations as much as you can because these are the places that we get tempted, right? Yeah, you know what? But when you're fasting, you're not gonna get tempted. At no. all. Some people do. At all, really. It's when you're eating you want to eat, but when yeah. you're you don't care for it for food and yeah i i told i mean i've been to dinners dry fasting you know and i loved it and i didn't care i mean my family was fine but uh, there was a friend uh, of the family who never saw me fasting and i think it bothered him a little bit that, and he's a chef so it bothered him that um kind of you know he was teasing me the whole time and then i, I didn't feel comfortable you know but uh, but my family is fine with it because they have seen me fast and and eat and um, at the first fast, the first one I ate, they were very uncomfortable, my family, and then- um, Everybody thinks you're gonna die. Yeah, and then when they saw me <laughs> get back, um, they were totally fine. When I fasted the second time, they just didn't it's, care. It's just- They're like, okay, she's alive. <laughs> it's, a, she's it's, a, it's amazing how strong people's belief systems are, right? And then, you know, you're going without water for more than three days? How can you survive? <laughs> okay whatever sure i mean yeah especially your first three day dry um you get a little bit weak and tired the first three day dry yeah but th those belief systems that we, I know, we like were programming 
yeah. and when you're doing your first grinds, all that stuff's running through your head. Maybe they're right. Maybe you will die after three days. <laughs> all this bull crap goes through your head. Yeah, and so <laughs> you feel bad, and then if your family is around you, they will feel bad too. Like it's it's not comfortable. It's better to be on your own for sure, um, especially when you're doing the grinds. I find it harder eating. Oh yeah. I find questions. Um, I had a panic attack the other day. And which is all right because I'm aware when it happens, it was emotions. It was definitely emotions and stress because uh, my dad had been in hospital and I had to take him to hospital and then that. My mum had to go to hospital and all this stuff goes on because I kind of look after him a little bit. And uh, yeah, the emotions got high and I was looking after my brother's kids. I was babysitting them, taking them to school. It was their first week of school and my brother was stressed out. Oh, there's so much stuff going on around you. And yeah. uh, the, you know the the Boteco method for uh, anxiety panic attacks. Mm, I did that. Yeah. Yeah, it helped big time. It helped big time. I I did it straight away because you train yourself in 108 days, and so your mind goes there straight away automatically like a habit. And thank you for that because it, it helped big time, instantly, pretty much. Yeah. Mm. It's awesome. Yeah, so you, yeah. you find it difficult to deal with the emotions uh, when you're eating, right? Yeah, when there's a lot of things going on around me, so the, all the different stories and vortexes of people's videos and you're in their story, um, and you know you're in their story, so you're aware of it, and, uh, and you get caught into it, so you've got to really um, be aware that that's happening, it's, and that's where, where MFS has taught me that. Um, to make sure you rise above the mind and that you get yourself out of it. And what, and what I do was like the breathing, the 432 music and meditation in the morning, out of doubt, always. And if I miss it, especially when you're eating, um, you can get caught. You get caught. Um, and that's why I know when I do this 180 days, I'll be changed forever. Because if the 108 days opens the door, key to the door, and then you go longer, then you're actually deprogramming even deeper and getting in there. And then while I've been feasting, this is good training ground while you're eating because you go back into those um, old paradigms and sometimes they're intense. Because they're intense because you've been living this other way when you're on MFS and it's been very peaceful and you've been able to manage. I've been able, to, I've had no emotional, hardly any emotional stuff come up for me personally during MFS, only the first 30 days. The rest of it's been really good. And so, but when you come back into the eating mode and into um, the human shit, right, the stuff that you don't really want to know, um, you've got to be so aware because you're more, se I think you're more sensitive to it. And um, the 180 days, I think it's going to be a lot more elimination of that, that stuff, stuff and having the um, control, having the ability to emotionally control that stuff when you are in those emotional other people's stories. That's what it is. You're in other people's stories, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. We are in it's each like, other's stories, yeah. It, it, when, you're, when we go back to food, it's so easy to fall back in the old ways, right? Especially mm -hmm. when you keep all the same triggers around. It's so easy to get into that. It, so you, you have the same, uh, uh, you know, friends, family, et cetera, et cetera, that you hang out with and so on and so forth. It's very, very easy to fall back in your old ways. So this is where, why it's important to change everything in your life from A to Z. And I'm not saying that you don't go out with your friends and stuff, but um, you can limit it. You know, you don't have to do it as often. Uh, if you feel that that's uh, something that uh, you're missing out on, then you're not understanding and uh, once you go in inwards, you, you won't miss anything. No. And once you gain that understanding, you'll be at peace no matter where you are on the planet or galaxies or whatever, because you are connected with the, the, the source of all. And once you get into that feeling, you'll never be alone again. You'll never feel that you're missing on nothing because there's nothing to miss out on. All these physical material things are only keeping us um, occupied, frivolous occupied, occupied uh, our, our monkey mind. And um, they, they don't give you, uh, they don't give any satisfaction to soul whatsoever. Unless um, you're in a 
type of uh, meditative group or something that you're doing, working on the same thing or <laughs> you know the same goals but um you know there's uh there's lots of stuff that goes on when we when we go back to food um yeah gina i had a download last night and it's the last thing i want to share and it might yeah. help people is the download was for me personally that it taught me was that um you know, you know when you touch and you kiss and you love and other people, right? That mm -hmm. loving feeling, what we're doing here, gathering of souls and loving on each other. What that, what what that, that is, thing? is a glimpse into the soul world because it teaches us that we're here to, to have those beautiful feelings, but the actual feelings are already within inside of us. So you don't actually need people to give you that you don't need the outside world to give you that it's already inside of you so it gives you a glimpse when you touch and cuddle someone or um, things like that or when you say lovely words and they say lovely words to you and you you know they hug you or whatever they're just glimpses into the real real realm of the soul and how much they love us but when you when you get that glimpse because the MFS when you fast and you eliminate and that whole light channel comes through um then um you are it's only you and the soul and that's all you actually need because your senses become heightened so when you touch yourself you feel the soul touching you everything's with the inside it touches within and that's all you need like what you were saying before that is all you need and that's a love that you can only get that's with inside you you can't get it from outside of you it only gives you glimpses so i learned yeah. that was a death I had, but that's the last thing I'll say because I'll keep. <laughs> you don't have to keep quiet. Every, yeah, everything we're experiencing is within. When we're listening to something, we're listening to it within. When we're seeing something, we're getting that within. It's all within the experience. So um, it doesn't matter where we go or everything. It's all about all the experience is within, and that's the beauty because we, we can't experience anything outside. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Doesn't happen. <laughs> Yeah, and when, uh, like uh, you were saying, that we are in each, in each other's stories, right? We are affected by each other, each, each other's stories. Um, uh, I feel there is a reason for us to be, you know, in, in that place, involved in other people's stories. So, again, it's from within, you know, it's for us to um, do something, do some work. Yeah, the other person's story is really affecting you. Get rid of the story. That's how I think sometimes. If there's something, like I look at my friends and this and that, some of them I just got rid of. And um, <laughs> like yeah. at the end of the day, I've got, I've got to serve me first. First, 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 first. Yeah. Soul says first. Me first, you know, whatever story going on, like family story. We've got lots of family stories that go on, like oh. you do. Um, yeah, whatever happens, um, that's just all. Uh, you just get, just be courageous enough, I think, um, look after you first the service of you and then you can go and help you know yeah. do uh like responsibilities because, yeah exactly your mother your father your kids if, if you don't take care of yourself how are you going to take care of anybody else yeah exactly mm -hmm. exactly and you're right like because families are very many people like it is for me so like your pet your mom you're going through gino and with my mom and dad i'm going through because well, i don't know how much time they're going to be here and then you go oh okay you you place your time and energy into that value because it's an honor to look after your fam your parents there's an honor in that i feel and um and i want to do that like you do and so you've got to do you've got to put your time and energy to that and that's the most important value so these um energies that or stories that come from anywhere they come out all the time you just got to be the soul wants you to uh, to um, you know, somehow get through that in some way. I think that's how I feel because lots of people, like I've had people, friends that won't talk to me, and I go, yeah, bugger off. And then I've had things like um, there's some things that have happened, um, you know, uh, just at the end of my fast that happened which I didn't expect, and it was very hurtful. But I just went through it, and I just go, that why did it happen? What was I teaching from it? You know, all this sort of stuff. And then when you when you rise above the mind and you realise, okay, now I've got to be courageous and 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 you know, and and be stronger within within me and the soul's going to help me and I trust myself in the soul, then it all just happens. It's really easy. 
like I find there's just it's just really easy when you tap into the soul business and the only way you can do that is through doing being in the realm of MFS really I mean you've got to get rid of the food because <laughs> food just uh, yeah keeps um, keeps us um, keeps us down just really keeps us down it's not going to elevate like what you've taught me so I've learned so much in 108 days of MFS that I could not learn in 20 years of life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're, 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 you're going within. Yeah. You're not, you're not, you're, you stop, you know, you put the stop sign for going out there and, and you have to go within because that's what fasting um, allows you to, to do that process of going within. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere else to go when you're fasting. What are you going to do? You don't, you know, we're not going to get anything from out there. So yeah. we have to go within. Yeah, there's and no we, distraction when you're fasting. Like you're, you yeah, have and, to. Then, and we all know it. Everyone here knows it. You know, we all know it because we resonate. We've, you know, gone through life. We have wisdom. Um, some people already downloaded. You know, we all know it. It's just that after years and years of years of conditioning and paradigm, and I actually think the mind's in your body. I don't think it's in your head. I think it's all in you. But anyway, you, you go through all that, you're stuck. Like you're just so stuck and you're stuck in your environment and uh, you just got to keep eliminating. We all know it, but when you have these glimpses of things and then you, like what you said, Gina, you go inside and you clean the shit out, um, then all of a sudden this, this is like this um, veil of complete, continual veil of opening because it never stops because you don't know everything. Um, it's just this continual. And then you realise, well, what am I doing working for a boss that doesn't even you know, on an organisation that doesn't even serve the planet or what am I doing? Why aren't I my creative? What, what I enjoy the most and being in your creation and doing all that. But uh, I've got to stop talking. Uh, let the others talk. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, it's awesome. No it's, no, it's awesome that if anybody can, you know, shares their experiences and and stuff the, the spiritual stuff is the stuff that interests me the most uh steve uh day 30 today i had another colonic on wednesday and was even more amazed at what came out it, it never stops amazing and it's hard to comprehend and you just let it go after a while you just you just keep going and you know everything's going good as you as long as things are moving out <laughs> all as well because that's the key we want that you know that stuff to go through and continue and continue and continue um, there's so much tissue in this physicality to be cleansed uh, and uh, it's not going to happen in 108 days, but you're going to get a good cleaning <laughs> in 108 days. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the detox symptoms have, have lessened greatly. Lessened? Yes, lessened. Absolutely. Nice. You know, the first two weeks, it was, I was pretty ill. I didn't feel well at all. Yeah. Once I started the colonic. It changed everything. Yeah. Really changed everything. This is, you know, yeah. The, amazing, amazing what it's done. <laughs> the biggest challenge, Steve, is the first week for most people up to two weeks. Once that GI tract starts empty out, then, you know, you start getting into the energy. And then you get into phases where the body needs to dump and it brings you down maybe for a day or two or some three or maybe more. And then it's clear, the energy goes up again. So it's, you know, it's that, that line going upwards, but it's erratic. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's, it, sometimes it can be very erratic, erratic within a day. Mm -hmm. and, and this is what happens, you know, when you're during a fast. Things can and will change very quickly within a few days or a few hours sometimes. And once we understand the process, okay, the body wants to do something. Let me embrace it. Let me, let me assist it. More colonics, more breath work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And just let let it happen, <clears throat> because um, if if you try and resist it or fight it or stop it, um, it's just gonna uh, um, it reinforce your your um, belief about trusting in soul, basically. Um, so we want to do the opposite. We want to start learning to trust the soul, and it's gonna be very challenging for some people, especially if they're new new at fasting. Very, very difficult. That's why it's so important for people to stay connected, read, watch videos, listen to people's stories of what they're going through. So you have a basic understanding, but you really won't understand until you actually experience it. Once you start experiencing it, then you can relate 
And once you've experienced a healing reaction one time, and then the next time you come up to a similar healing reaction, you go, oh, okay, I got, I got stronger after that one. So I'll just let it ride it through and, you, and you'll continue and continue after healing reaction, after healing reaction, after healing reaction. Because um, there's no healing crisis like people say when you're in a fast. Yeah, I, that's, that's, that's when you go through the, the uh, mainstream medical stuff and they treat you. Those are healing crises. The body's trying to survive. It's doing everything it possibly can to survive. When you're fasting, the body knows exactly what it's doing. And the, the, the challenge is our, the way we've lived up to that point and how much garbage we've put through our system and chemicals and so on. It, it, so it's got a little bit of a work to do, and it can get scary, but it's not that it doesn't know what it's doing. It knows exactly what to do. When we're being bombarded with isolates and all that, the body is going, what the hell did you just put in me? And it's doing whatever it can to come out of it and keep you alive. And sometimes, you know, people perish a lot when they're, they get isolated, injected in them or through their mouth or whatever, because these are all things that the body doesn't recognize. And um, each, each time somebody puts that into their body, you never, you're not going to know the outcome. With fasting, we know the outcome every time you get stronger all the time if you're doing fasting prudently with what we understand today. As long as you're doing it prudently, you know, as long as you're doing crazy, going, trying to go at the 10, 15 day dry fast, first thing off the bat, you, you can most likely kill yourself. It won't be the fast, it'll be when you go back to food. Because if you did that right off the bat, uh, you're stupid enough to not eat and break it properly as well. <laughs> and we've seen that over and over. So I'm not saying. Yeah, and the body also is very toxic. So you're yeah, going into a yeah. detox. It's well. the, the, the level of toxicity. Um, is so high in today's modern man we want to move it out safely and as quickly as possible and that's why we're using all the things we use to keep it at, at, as safe as possible and effective as possible and very few understand that all these healing reactions are just these obstructions whatever we want to call them chemicals toxins pathogens whatever the body's really only gets the chance to move these things out during a fast. It breaks them free and the, the body has to get rid of them. And it, the biggest challenge in today's modern man is there's so much of these obstructions. The body gets overwhelmed and energetically it's not moving. And this is where you can burn out your kidneys or this or that or the other thing because it's just not flowing. And that's where you get into trouble. But it has nothing to do with uh, you're deficient in this, that, and the other thing. Like so many people say, oh, you better go eat. You better go see your daughter. You better go. <laughs> this, they, just, they just don't have the understanding of what's actually going on. If you read Arnold Eric's book, a lot of the info is in there. It's just people have missed it. Um, I read it so many times, and every time I read it, I got a new understanding. But I was fasting for you know many, many decades. I kept fasting, kept fasting, kept fasting. And as I, you know, go back and read the book, I get new revelations. I get my own revelations from what he, hit, uh, Arnold Eric's uh, revelations that he shared. And you can come to an understanding of what he was going through and um, why he wrote what he wrote. You know, the formula B equals P take away O is such a simple formula, but so, so profound when you understand. Um, it's, you know, the, the, it's the art of subtraction. He understood it. He understood it very well. Um, back over 100 years ago. Um, I don't see many people understand what that formula means. I, I've never seen anybody actually explain that formula, uh, what it is, uh, like, uh, like he has. So um, we continue to build our confidences through the experiences, and uh, we ride it through. Um, for some people, sometimes they may have to break the fast because emotionally they're just not prepared to allow the process to take place, and that's okay. But um, if somebody's in a very um, challenged state health-wise, um, you know, uh, some of these people, if they don't do something, they, they'll probably pass away because of uh, what they've done to themselves uh, yeah, well, that's just through their journey, choices. Right? So if they don't make big, massive changes, um, you know, like going the length and, and doing a long fast to clean out all these obstructions that they put in their body, um, they may not be, or be around. Yeah, most of the time, the people who are very sick are honestly not going to make it. 
not because they, are, they can detox. Of course, they can detox, but they don't have the belief system. They don't, they don't believe it. So they might detox and the tumor gets smaller, um, but then they, they, they will go back to eating and they're just sick of fasting. They did not want to fast in the first place. They're, they're doing it as an event for, to, to take care of a problem. Yeah, I, I've seen people. I've seen people die, actually, or people who are dying right now. Um, I mean, I have clients who have died, you know, uh, not master fast, uh, just uh, doing different things. And some, some people have tried the master fast, but again, they don't have the belief system. So they have done it for a short time. And then, um, they just don't live and then they go time. back to the medical system because they're confused. Like they do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit. I mean, when you, yeah, when confusing. you start seeing people doing that, you, you, you can clearly see they have not done enough of their homework to allow themselves to gain the little bit of understanding to continue. Yeah, so and that's the when, biggest challenge. So when, is, when somebody is very sick, I just don't see it because it's hard for us to change our belief system, and we are not like critically sick you know like, they're writing we're not, on, we're not told you're gonna die if you yeah they're writing uh, on fear medical treatments you know? they're they're writing on fear the fear overtakes them they go and, and they go back to the, the system that induced the fear into them so that's that's what happens the fear overtakes them and once that happens there's nothing you can do there's just nothing yeah, there so. that's the path they've chosen and so, unless they yeah. miraculously change their mind and and, and do it and leave that system behind. Um, they won't. They won't be around for long. Yeah, and it, it's good. Yeah, it's good for us to take our time to change our beliefs. I've seen mm -hmm. one too many people were, were you know getting better and so on and so forth. Then they went back through the system. And they're not around anymore. Yeah. They're not around anymore because there was that fear was induced from their family, friends. And you know, doctors and so on and so forth who have but you know what, it, no understanding yeah, it of it. It goes back is, to their belief system. Of course. It is not strong enough. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. But they're strong they don't enough. They, they don't have done their homework. They will do what, whatever it takes. But they're not strong enough. And that takes time and practice. You know. Yeah. You will know how, how you feel as you do fasting and clean eating, fasting, or even falling, you know, falling off clean eating. You will know. You will know how to reduce your tumor. You, you don't have to worry about the tumor. The tumor is going to go away just the way it came, it came yeah, there. Yeah, Do the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Or a cyst or something. You see it getting bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. So you, you, can, you can play with it. Yeah. You know? And once you have, you know, you have the power, then the, the, the fear is much less and you can go further. It's a lifestyle and you're going to fall, you know. Uh, just don't do big mistakes, you know. The, Always get back up. The, the lifestyle does not register. 108 days, they think everything will be solved it, because they've seen so much transformations happen with people and they think everything's done and I can go back to my old ways. And that's what happens. Even, it, it doesn't yeah. register that no matter that we've been saying it for since day one, that this is a lifestyle, it doesn't register. I've seen it over you know, and over. Yeah, I have seen people who have done 108 days and, uh, you know, we do some mistakes. And then they say, okay, I'm going to do another 108 days and I'm not going to do mistakes after 108 days. They do another 108 days and they do mistakes. And <laughs> so it's really, it's like, it's not going to be perfect. It's That's a lifestyle. Sure. It's a lifestyle. So we're, yeah. we're always, if we're always in the phase of living the lifestyle, yeah, we're going to fall off here and there. Who cares? We're, we're in the lifestyle. And we're always in the lifestyle. We're always in that fasting state. You know, even when we're choosing to eat, we're in the fasting mentality state. Because without living a lifestyle with the fasting included, you got no chance in this planet anymore. <laughs> I don't, it's just, we're being bombarded left, right, and center, and they're bringing new things to bombard us every day. They want to bring those 5G now. If you're going to drive fast in your lifestyle, good luck. You're going to see all kinds of crap happen with humanity if they bring that out like they're planning. Um, you, you're, you're, you're fried. You, because you, you, dry fast is the only thing that will protect you from radiation. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> That's what I discovered. <laughs> it's the only thing that your body's going to uh, get, get to a state where it can eliminate the radiation out of the body and all the other crap. So it's not going to happen with food. Oh, yeah, this and that's going to help remove heavy metals and this herb and 
if you're eating, good luck. Good luck. I haven't seen it. You can get it up to a point, um, but it doesn't solve the problem. I haven't seen it. I've not seen it. Um, not that it's not possible. You know, instantaneous health healing is possible, but um, I have not seen it myself, even though there's some people who have claimed uh, they've gone through those things. Okay, that's wonderful. Like I said, everything's possible. But for most of us, uh, we're going to have to put our heads down and do the work, meaning stop eating <laughs> and cleanse the body uh, day in and day out. Yeah, we, we need a regime, a daily, a weekly, a monthly, a season change, and, a, and then long ones here and there with a full MFS is to keep everything moving, keep the energy flowing. That's the key. If we don't keep that energy moving, if we're continuously eating, eating is only bringing obstructions into the body and does the absolute reverse. It starts building roadblocks in the energy flows by eating. So how do we do, how do we get rid of these blockages? We stop eating, we do the opposite. And we open up those energies, uh, those blockages, sorry, and keep that energy flowing. And we have the wonderful herbs who really, they're the masters at opening up energy. Um, that's, I, 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 I'm, I'm totally convinced that that's what they're, they're, they're here for. They're not here to fix this and that. They're here to open up blockages of energy, remove, help remove obstructions in our physical, mental, emotional bodies, all three. They don't work only on the physical. They actually, the, they're doing more work on the emotional because once you, 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 you start settling the emotional side, the physicality has no choice but to correct itself. And this is the beauty. This is why fasting works so magically is because we're connecting with the emotional part. You're fasting, what are you gonna do? The only thing you can do is go within because there's nothing out there that's gonna help you. Um, the, the herbs, uh, we're using them energetically and they do m miraculous things when you're fasting. I've seen herbs do pretty good, pretty amazing things when people were eating, but it comes to a limiting point. Um, it may work for some a little more than others with food, but it only always comes to a certain point. I, uh, you know, it's, it's when you stop eating is when they really shine. Um, Ranji, be back in a tank. <laughs> what you focus on always expands. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you know, uh, just, um, you know, being on these calls and so on and so forth, um, a few of us that join continuously over and over, you start to gain the understanding of um, we're, we're exchanging energy. We're feeding off each other. Like-minded. You know, it's just with anything else, you know, a group of people with like-minded goals. It gets stronger. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's wonderful to have that um, uh, available for us. Yeah, it helps us change our beliefs, right? <clears throat> yeah, put our experiences together. Oliver, uh, <laughs> why don't you share... Uh, uh, <laughs> My wonderful, simple life. <laughs> Experience. Hey, um, <laughs> that's, pretty, that's doing pretty good here. I just moved to Oregon. There's this cabin I saw on Craigslist and it just worked out and I was on an MFS and I'm like, I felt it so much and here I am. <laughs> awesome. And, um, oh yeah, it's just such a huge contrast from Seattle to just rural, can't hear anything but your soul kind of <laughs> deal here and the people here, like, um, you know, like you said, the like minds. Um, I talked about the fasting. They're all about that. They're like, yeah, that's pretty cool. And I'm like, awesome. You know, I got the tinctures on the counter now instead of hiding them. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, just being, great. being in the but science that, of nature yeah. is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's awesome to do that and be a part of this call with everyone here. Uh, <laughs> what day are you now? Cool. Um, I'm on two right now, but I've been, every time I start to eat again, it's like, you just feel it like this isn't, this isn't what's cutting the grease. So you just, you know, as soon as you can, you just get out of that. Cause the, you know, the emotions start to come back and the paradigm starts to come back and the world starts to support that. It's like, all right, now I, you know, stand your ground and start just, you know, bust out the Kalima board, whatever <laughs> to get, 
yeah. you know, get right back on it. We, we all love to eat, right? Let's face it. But yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's, just, it's the feeling that comes along with it. Like, I, I like fasting more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Big time, big time. <laughs> No, it's it's, mm. it's it's very very difficult and challenging for us to let go of all that programming we've been brought up with that we have to eat and so on and so forth it's, we're, we're very attached to it and like i said the most addictive foods are what the ones your mother or father or whoever your loved one yeah. that that fed you those foods those are the most addictive foods by far <laughs> wow. yeah yeah the motherly love you know we want to call it that came through the food um, you know, especially when your mother's a great cook, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> mothers are always great cooks. <laughs> I haven't heard one person say my mother is not a great cook. <laughs> it's their emotions. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, you there by yourself, uh, Oliver? Um, right now I am, but uh, the my buddy here, Victor, he's like we're sharing this house, and it's just it blows me away because everything here is like someone, you know, a hundred years ago built this or uh, forged that or, you know, in the wood shop or this and that. And I feel it. It's really yeah, cool yeah, you can, to feel. You can tap into those emotions of those people. Yeah. How trippy is that? Like they're, they're here through their creations. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Super cool. It's awesome. Um, yeah, and there's a garden outside, so I'm as soon as spring hits, I just want to blow it up and check out the ocean gans and all other tools and really see. There's a fig tree, so I was, um, I was inspired by that. I was like, wow, that's going to be an interesting eating experience. Uh, right off the tree, <laughs> like You're you said in the, Italy. Is, uh, yeah, they are totally awesome. Different. You're close to the ocean. Um, yeah, it's about an hour drive, a windy road. It's a lot of wilderness. And then there's the Oregon coast. And um, yeah, it's an interesting energy there. Big rocks, big waves, and uh, good views from the cliffs of the how far the ocean goes. Awesome. Nice. So, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So you're eating these days, right? So you broke the fast, right? Um, yeah, here and there, I'll get into some fruits and greens and salads and, you know, sometimes grains, but it's like, as soon as it happens, I just put it in the past, like, why even bother bring that with me? Mm -hmm. So I, um, you know, just like, I know, like, it's so ingrained in me all the exactly what to do. So I got all the tools. It's like, yeah, so I just keep coming back, keep coming back. And, um, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how... Um how addictive food is and it's addictive emotion yeah like anything else right like you're if you're confused you eat if you're sad you eat you're happy you eat yeah um, you ask yourself yeah, am exactly. I truly hungry I, I bet you eat every single time there would, would, would be no <laughs> you're not truly right. <laughs> it's true <laughs> it's true <laughs> so can we live on liquids of course we can can we live on nothing? Of course we can. Um, uh, the choice is, do we really want to live like that? Because it's not easy in this realm with all this stuff around us at every, everywhere we turn, you know what I mean? When you're out in the boonies yeah. like you are like that and nobody's around, um, it's much less influences. Uh, but when you're living in a busy area, you're being bombarded all the time, right? Yeah, big time. In big cities and so on and so forth. Um, but it's much easier to live on liquid. It's easier. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I'm yeah, not, yeah. not uh, Britarian because that's, that's a high level. But, but liquid is much easier than eating. So sometimes I just ask, why are we not doing it? You know, like, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> it's like if we got all the tools and we're ready to rock and roll, why not? You know, crack open another MFS and get going again. You know, dig deeper. You just pick up where you left off and yeah. off you go. If you fall, you fall, but get up and get, get back, you know, keep fasting. What was that? Yeah, I'm saying if you fall, you fall, but get up and keep fasting, you know, as if nothing. Yeah, happens. yeah, of course, of course. Fast, you know? 
I mean, I wonder many times, do I do master fast weekly or which is eating one day a week? Or do I just fast? You know, I have asked myself this question so many times in the past, I don't know, over a year. Um, and it's hard. It's a really, it's, it brings up fears, you know, when you say, I don't want to yeah. eat. Yeah, you just, today I'm food free. Today I'm food free. Every day you take I'm food free. <laughs> you can't you can't focus. I'm never gonna eat again. It's too emotionally uh, challenging for people to even think of something like that. A day at a time. You just work with today. A day at a time. You 108 days. Okay, yeah, you put a goal out there, but you're you're doing it each day. Today I'm food free. Today I'm food free. Today I'm food free, and continue. And sooner or later, you see, uh, 108 days is like a st you started yesterday when you reach 108 days. And it's wow, 108 days went by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and when you reach 108 days, it's not like you miss food, but it's just that you thought you decided that you're going to break your fast, so you go back to eating, but you really don't care for food at that time. I think after two months, no more cravings unless you think about food and you start thinking what you're going to eat after. When you start thinking what you're going to eat after, yeah, you're going to activate these, I don't know, maybe parasites, they will wake up again, you know, um, and you'll have cravings. Maybe like if, if you watch lots of videos, you know, think about what you're going to eat after the fast, um, the cravings will come back. But if you're not thinking about it, I, I just don't see the cravings come back at all. It's easy. It's really easy. After two months, I would say, it's very simple. Yeah, it's too simple. Uh, it, it can be. I think that would be the only, um, uh, the only thing that people, you know, want to avoid the simplicity. You know, they want, you know, they want more. They want to socialize. They right. want to complicate things. You know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just like the external stimulation to, kind of outdo or drown out the you know the sound of the soul mm -hmm. that we've yeah. um, chosen to distance ourselves from or yeah the illusion of distancing ourselves from yeah and it's just it's bananas how quick it comes back when you start fasting <laughs> the yeah. Yeah. and yeah. how quick it uh, the uh, addiction to food comes back when you start eating yeah that's big time it's like the the balance between the two it's like not being afraid of food and well, you know, know coming off of it and you know <laughs> well just imagine you leave this all behind just imagine leave it all behind go back to eating seven days a week see how you feel yeah, it's not gonna look too pretty <laughs> <laughs> it's, <not> gonna... <laughs> it's 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 like it's 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 kind of crazy to even think of trying to go back to that from what once you yeah what you've experienced and what, about energies and so on and so forth what you've actually experienced why would i want to put my body through that anymore <laughs> <laughs> seven days a week is that crazy but you know people are doing it day in and day out and you go look back yeah. in your mind when you used to do that how did i used to do that seven days a week <laughs> So, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. Yeah. So how did you find uh, the big city in the Toronto area? Um, Busy. How did, how did I get there? Who was there? No, how did you like uh, the big city here? It's another city, right? Um, <laughs> it, was, it was interesting. I was, when I was on MFS, it was like I was just, especially coming from the colonic, I was just like floating through it. <laughs> I was just looking at it like, ah, everyone's here. <laughs> you know, here now, like trying to nitpick everything. And were you here uh, before? Or was that your first visit? Uh, that was my first visit and first time going to Canada. Oh, so it was okay. a totally, um, yeah, it was cool. It was just so, you know, like the subtly different culture. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it was an awesome yeah. visit. Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. so. you shared your, that short video of your friend trying the water, the disappearing water. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, I was so turbocharged from that visit. I was like, try. I still have a small amount of it left in the glass. <laughs> check it out every once in a while. <laughs> Give it a smell. <laughs> Is it stayed stable? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no okay. idea. I know, I'm wondering. Cool, but, uh, <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure how I'd tell that, but or, test it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that in a while. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Disappearing water. <laughs> uh, let's see. Robbie, Robbie, have your hand up. Unmute yourself. Or you want me to do that? There you go. Okay. I did it. Yeah. Um, I, I just thought I'd have a bit of a chat. I've been having a pretty interesting time. Um, I've written notes because I go all vague and forget. Um, so I broke my fast on the first and I've been eating no worries for the first week or two on just straight fruit. Um, and slowly introduced more. I've just got more and more hungry, uh, which I think you said is pretty normal. So I'm eating three fruit, three fruit meals a day. Mm -hmm. um, the last um, week, maybe, there's been a lot of emotion happening. My mum's, or oh, that makes me straight away, um, my mum's getting um, less well. And she's a thousand miles away and I can't go there. So mm. that's really uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, uh, interestingly, I've, I've never watched DVDs or TV or anything like that before, but um, I don't have any energy and my muscles seem to have atrophied quite a bit and I um, fall over and um, especially if I'm squatting down, I lose my balance really easily and topple over, just flings my body. So um, I need to do a bit of um, exercise to build that up, I think. Yeah. Because uh, I don't have any motivation to do the exercise because I've been untired. And um, I'm still walking a little but not far and with a stick. I mean, this is, I used to walk 5Ks a day in the bush, up and down hills. So it's a bit of a shock to me and my body. When was the last time you done uh, that? Oh, um, towards the end of um, my fast, because I went away to New South Wales as well, so there, I didn't have the same walks to go in, on, mm -hmm. and I just had flat walks and I was just looking after mum and so it was very sedate. Uh, and remember, I fell over and hurt my head, so I couldn't walk to the beach, which is a couple of k's away, and go, I wasn't allowed to go swimming because there's some sort of bugs in the water. Um, that can cause a bad infection in an open wound. So, um, seawater? anyway, um, yeah, seawater, apparently, yeah. There's um, up there, there's been some sort of bad infections that people are getting um, from the seawater. Amazing, isn't it? The opposite. We used to, yeah, we used to go in when we were kids to clean everything. Exactly. So, yeah, anyway, so, um, it's not so I'm still mostly on fruit. people's bodies, but anyway. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we uh, understand all that. Um, as I said, I didn't watch movies and stuff because I'm so tired by the afternoon. Like I've done as much work as I can manage in my day, um, gardening and housework or whatever I can manage. Um, not going out much because going to the toilet is very demanding. Um, and I just got this sense to watch um, DVDs. And so many of them that are sent to me are like so spiritual and, um, and bring in the emotions so well. So I get to process, like I know, like food makes you more emotional. That's what you keep saying, Rana, once you start to eat. But um, I've done psychosomatic therapy and um, things like that, which are about accessing the emotions in your tissues 
like the issues in your tissues, which is pretty similar to what we're doing here. So, um, and it would activate me um, to go into that emotion because um, I was having trouble accessing them. Like I could feel the emotion in there, like towards the end of the fast, I could feel the emotion stuck in my body, but couldn't get it to move. So this has been really good. Like the um, movies that are coming, I just like, um, opening those channels quite well. So I figure that I'm still processing stuff and letting out the emotion. Um, I think that's a positive thing. Um, what else has happened? I found the food channel, uh, which is pretty funny because I haven't been able to find right. it because I don't, I don't watch the TV and I don't know how to operate it very well. So that was pretty cool. I found the food channel and lots of Asian stuff, which is what I'm really liking, like the sense of, sense of smell of those things. And that's what uh, appeals to my senses. So that's been really good. Um, yeah, I still don't have any energy. Um, I've moved into the house to sleep, but I initially I had problems with that because I was on the floor and I reacted to that. And also when it's windy, um, whatever's under the floor, because it's a timber floor, um, the wind must bring it up and then that would um, set my lungs off or my mental state would go downhill from, um, you know, from previous reactions to the house. That's why I don't normally sleep in the house and didn't used to be able to be in the house. Um, what else? I haven't been dry fasting except for the 12 hours daily because on that last 48 hour one sort of knocked me for six and freaked me out a bit. Um, so I've just been waiting and just trying to build myself up a bit before I start doing that again. But I'm still doing my 12 hours every day. Um, my hands, um, remember how they had that really bad reaction and like they all went burnt and peeled off? Mm -hmm. um, the other day they started to do that again, but only in a really minor way, but they've already healed up better. So that's really good. That was really quick. I thought, oh, no, I don't want to go through that again. But um, Body knows exactly what it's doing. Don't argue with it. Yeah. <laughs> I hear it every time, you know. I just have to go trust, trust, trust. I've got it written on my board. Trust and faith. It's been You're there for a few months. The journey's barely begun. Just let it, let it in, uh, say, but the, as far as the muscle atrophy, before it slips my mind, you got to move the muscles. You got to keep moving the muscles. You yeah. can't stop moving. You got to force yourself a little bit. No, no. I'm walking, but I, I've, um, I will start trampolining and I'm going to speak to one of the local yoga teachers and see if she can give me some masanas that will help because uh, I haven't been motivated to do any yoga. Um, yeah, and, and because I've been so tired and um, my headspace hasn't been brilliant, it's really hard to motivate myself to do it. Uh, but now I'm feeling a little bit stronger, so I'll get on to that. I feel more capable of interacting with people because I've been fairly um, um, withdrawn. And at home, like at home is in the bush, uh, so it's easy for me not to go anywhere. And um, my husband takes the car quite a bit, so. Uh, what else? Yeah, my regime of my breathing and my um, jumping and different things have kind of fall, fallen away. So I need, I need to pick that back up again. Um, I keep losing my burnt sticks. <laughs> um, that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, I've got all my wooden spoons. I go, I'll just burn another one. <laughs> so, I've been doing that. Um, yeah, I was just, so I was wondering, Rana, about starting. I have been eating the last half a week. I've been eating raw zucchini and just sort of um, not right on the inside and raw cucumber just the um, fleshy part, not the seeds, um, just with a bit of cumin and sometimes a little bit of vinegar or lemon or whatever. That's been really satisfying because that's what I'm craving the most. But I'm just wondering if I can um, have some 
cooked veggies, like cooked zucchini and uh, just fruit, like just fruit veggies, not um, um, yeah. not any other sort of veggies. Not yeah, it's been uh, a month stuff. since we're here. Yeah, I must be the second now of February, so that's a bit over four weeks, four and a half weeks maybe. Yeah, enjoy. Um, <clears throat> Make yeah. sure you're moving your bowels. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I made, I've been moving my bowels like you wouldn't even believe. It's like I just go to the toilet all day until about two o'clock, and then, um, then my bowel feels like the next thing is going to fall out. Is it? Is it? <laughs> you know, so that's been really uncomfortable. So, um, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, been, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend eating seven days a week. Never, ever again. No, no, but I just, I just wanted to build myself up and felt really deficient. I know, but this, this is the belief system that the food does that. This is yeah. where the yeah. challenge in um, belief system comes in. And um, it's, it's not going to happen overnight to change that. So, um, you know, if you can't do 24 hours a week, maybe go for 20 on that one day. Push yep. the one day a little bit. You know, you push can... Allow one day to be longer than the rest of the week, right? Uh, at least. Yeah. So dry, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Do you mean dry, Gina? You know? yeah, yeah, because if you go back to seven days a week of eating, you're back into the obstruction mode every single day. You only have yeah. a small window each day of, a, of that little dry, and it's not enough in, in this uh, day and age for the body to be able to yeah. purge and rest uh, the digestive tract and so on and so forth. So. Um, you know, even if it's like I said, you know, uh, 18, 20 hours for that one day until that becomes no problem for you. And then you can go back to the 24 per week. But um, I would have yeah, well, doing that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And when you uh, eat um, seven days a week, the cravings would be more, right? You'd have more cravings. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. They're coming in quite strongly now. Um. Yeah, so focus on the fruits, um, if you want salads, you know, uh, if you can eat them. Yeah, not attracted to salads. Well, that's great. Greens, not attracted to greens at all. Awesome. If you want to steam zucchinis uh, and fruits, you go ahead and do that, you know, like non-sweet fruit yeah. as a savory meal. Um, Keep it raw if you can, 100% better. Yeah, well, I have been doing raw. I just been th I just thought it'd be nice to have some cooked zucchini and see how that feels. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And I was going to cook an apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you like. Hard and runner. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, as long as you're moving your bowels and uh, if you can, you know, uh, Gino uh, said the 24 hour dry fast, you don't have to do 48 hours. If it's too much for you at this yeah. point, don't do it. Uh, just stick to the 24 at least. Per week. Yeah, yeah. And if you need help, you know, if you feel tired, uh, what you can do is um, you can take the herbs. Yeah. yeah. On the dry day, and uh, if you want, you know, there's a lower level uh, dry fasting where you can drink one ounce of the yeah, juice. Yeah, semi dry. Yeah. Semi dry. You drink a little bit of the juice. Uh, it's in the protocol. Yeah. Every hour you drink a little bit of juice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And alternate. So. Just yeah. to go further. I've been still having tinctures, yeah. even though I've been um, eating just sometimes half a dose and just erratically. Yeah. Um, you're doing really well. You're doing very well. Yeah, so far, you're only eating. Yeah, thanks, man. It's been one month. And, uh, you know, just focus on your strength at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Body, you don't have to do anything hard. Go for long walks. Go out in nature. Do your breath yeah, I'm doing gardening and I'm going out in nature every day. I'm walking every day and um, I've just started to trampoline again and I've got a bike out there I can um, pedal on, which I'm going to introduce. So I've got all that in my head that's starting to come now because I feel a bit stronger. Um, and But I'm still aware of the, the cravings coming as well. So I'd like to try that and um, and then gradually back away again yeah i don't have the strength and the enthusiasm that ranjit has but i've i've persisted you know i've 
I think I've done really well here by myself. Yeah, you're doing great. Change, change the way that the mind is perceiving things. I don't have any strength. My muscles are atrophy. These are not things that should be crossing your mind. Change it around. Yeah. Say the body's starting to rebuild itself. It's getting stronger every day. You know, use all positive yeah. things. Look at things yeah. differently um, because you're you're still in the transition of the breaking the fast. There's still lots going yeah. on. Like you got the, the you know yeah. the, the couple of months of the fast, then you got at least twice as long for breaking the fast. At least. So you know, uh, you would did eighty days or something. It's almost a year process when somebody does a long fast, from the fast, yeah. breaking the fast, and and then the building stages. These it, it takes a long time for everything to settle itself. Yeah. But uh, the body builds itself stronger than ever. I haven't seen yes. any weaker on fast, and unless they go off the track and start eating all crap again, and then there's uh, yeah. No, like I've I've lived um, on this sort of food for a long time. I've I'm not very attracted to um, other food, although I'm cooking for my husband. That can be very tricky because I, I think, yeah. oh, I'll just taste that and go, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, but generally, it's not food that I eat, um, yeah. so that's not too bad. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's pretty much me. I'm, I think I'm staying as positive as I can manage. And Excellent. Just, um, I think positive and I get out and do things, and I'm getting, like, really amazing um, – um oh the information like i don't know pardon reflections. Not the same as red yeah 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 but reflection and that and that's just like oh wow, wow. you know like <laughs> wow and you know oh, like you know i've had a situation for a long long time and i haven't know what, known what to do with it and and suddenly i just went just stepped into a different corner of the room and saw the view from a different place. It was amazing. You know, I didn't have to change anything, only how mm -hmm. I saw things. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was pretty happy with that. So That's amazing. Um, I would also suggest yeah. um, somehow to make peace also to uh, with uh, whatever your mom is going through and how, you know, your emotions uh, around it. Yeah. Somehow, you know, you don't want to to see it as a negative thing somehow to transform it if you can you know to something positive yeah yes yes i understand that it's really strange because sorry i can't hear you now yeah yeah i'm saying and uh, if you can do something and you're not doing it why not do it you know yeah you feel you can do yeah. nothing go ahead you know yeah yeah when my dad passed i already had an understanding and a knowing with him and i wasn't stressed at all about that um but uh it seems differently with different with my mum and she's well my sister died um 15 years ago and she, i she was my older sister and i thought that this would be her role to care for mum um but and i'm not up there so it just makes it really hard to you're, um you're going to you know not be available for her when that yeah. was that that's what I believe my role was. Yeah. There's so, a lot of emotions happening. Probably that. What's happening with your mother, right? That's on top of everything else you've gone through with, uh, you know, uh, yeah. your challenges in your health for all these years. Now, you know, you're trying to bring some balance to it and you're having all this happening with your mother. So the universe is bringing yeah. all these uh, challenges to you so you can become stronger and learn from all these. And I'm lucky. <laughs> exactly it's wonderful because you're only going to get strong <laughs> that's right yeah, yeah. trust uh, no, it's good it's good i like inside myself i can feel it's good but um you know when you go to the emotion emotional mind it all sort of wants to fall in a heap a bit yeah um, anyway. you know, uh, i'm good <laughs> i think i'm doing okay really and you're doing great you know, like the universe. Uh, like everyone have good days and bad days. <laughs> Every day is a good day, even the ones that you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's part of the process. You know, the, uh, the universe says to me, um, "You're not. Uh, you need to learn some more lessons because thousands of people, your guidance is not enough. So 
Now you're taking care of your mother full time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening with me for the last year and a half, right? So, you know, we all go through these challenges and uh, we have to look at it. And what do we got to learn from this and, and move onward and forward and get stronger from it? Because, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be challenging. But, hey, um, that's what we're here for. Um, you know, it's our mother. And uh, uh, we do our best. We do our best. They, they, they you know, carried us for nine months. They uh, clothed us. They fed us for many, many years. The uh, least we can do is uh, uh, be emotionally there for them as best we can. And if we can be there physically to help, we do that as well. And, and we know more than they do in many ways. So maybe we can help them, right? We know more than yeah. we I mean, we are exposed to much more information than our parents. And so maybe we can help them. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you're doing wonderful, Robin. Just keep going. But get, uh, I, I want to see you get stronger physically. Break through that barrier. Because once yeah. you do, you're going to see the body builds itself very quickly. 30 days, uh, yeah. people transform their, complete, their bodies completely. You know, they go to the gym, they start working mm -hmm. out, and in 30 days, they're a completely different person. So it doesn't take long. Yeah. It's just uh, break through that, that mental, mental block, and, and you'll get through it. Um, yeah. There's something holding you back, and it's probably all these things going on emotionally with your mother and so on and so forth, and that's understandable. Yeah. It's very difficult and challenging yes. times when a, a parent is not well and they may be passing. So, um, you know. This is all uh, yeah, part of all, our experiences. We all have obstructions in different areas in our lives, and we're working through them. You know, it's how we see it. If we see it as a as a as a good challenge to help us grow, you know, then we can become stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I think there are all good challenging cha challenges. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, they're just uncomfortable some of the, some of the time. Yeah. You know, like you mentioned, we have some good days and some bad days. The bad days are just days that we don't have an understanding, but it's all part of the process. It's not bad. It's just part of the process. So we yeah. allow those days to go by and uh, we, we, we use a little prudence, a little, we support ourselves a little more on those days uh, that uh, are not good days, right? <laughs> but they're really all good yeah. days. They're really all good days. <laughs> because yeah, thanks, Gino and Ron. Yeah. You're welcome. Every time we go through those challenging times, we come out stronger. We come out stronger and somewhat stronger. And if we don't come out stronger, yeah. the only time we don't is when we've given up. That's the only time we're not going to come out stronger is when we've given up and we stop doing the things that will make us move in that direction. We start make we stop doing all those things and we've given up. And that's what you know what happens when people give up. When if, if but if you're focused and you continue to do all the things to move in the correct directions. There's nothing stopping you, nothing. Uh, we've seen miraculous turnovers from all kinds of different things with people. And what's the difference from the people who, who are succeeding and who are not? Exactly what I just talked about. The people that are doing versus the people who give up. You know, just trying. You, trying doesn't get us very far. You get a little taste of something and that's it. But uh, when we commit, and we devote to our uh, our mission, it's a whole different ballgame. And everything's possible. Everything's possible. Like you've you overcome many things. You've you've been through so many years of trouble from what you've shared. Um, just, uh, it's only the beginning. Just keep going, and uh, yeah. you'll find balance. And yeah. you're doing again. You're doing amazing. Breaking your fast. Yeah. Not many people break their fast properly. You're doing really well. Like keeping it mainly fruits. Um, you know, that's where, that's the hardest part in the fast. So you have done yeah. really well. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Going to buy some durian on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. Oh Enjoy. yeah, durian's Enjoy awesome. It. <laughs> yeah. Durian's awesome. This is long okay. as long as we do it. <laughs> I'm done. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank I you. I can stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anybody else? Uh, bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, bye. Anybody else want to share? Inspire, support, question. I'll share. 
Hello. Go ahead, Maria. Maria. Um, I'm on day 37. Awesome. Yeah, it's this is great. Um, I just finished the weekly. I showed the picture. Um, what else? I just started the potato exercises. They're I, I'm they're awesome. I'm gonna do them twice a day. Um, and then what else? I just keep in, incorporating more little things. Like I did the the, the candle pulling and that the candle thing, and that was really cool. I bought more herbs. They're right there. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, the the licorice candy. Um. But besides that, pretty good. Except for a little bit of low blood pressure, I'm totally fine. Yeah, according to who? Is this <laughs> well, I get sometimes I get a little lightheaded, but <laughs> okay, there's lots going on. But yeah, we, we sometimes we focus so much on these numbers that came through a system where they they, they check the averages of a, a, a population of, of sick, obstructed people. You know, yeah, so, use the um, trick where you put your finger under your nose, no, and put yeah, there is a pressure point, just yeah, exactly. So, yeah. you put your finger there for uh, if you feel dizzy or anything, just do that for and one minute. Pressure, just keep it there, yeah, keep it there for one minute. And it feel uh, the dizziness would go away. Uh, mm -hmm. the licorice, of course, right, when you are dizzy, more enemas, oh, yeah, enemas, massage those kidneys. The burnt stick, keep massaging them. Yeah. Yeah. These are, is this your first fast? No, I did, um, well, before I did two water fasts, but a long time ago. But in terms of uh, master fast, I did 30 days in April. And then I did just like nine days in October. Oh, okay. How, how long were your water fasts? Uh, I was, I was, I was very inexperienced. One was, um, 15 days and one was 20 days. Okay. That's but, still quite a bit in water. <laughs> yeah. But that taught me that the breaking the fast is way harder. It's just, it's like what I have to focus like all my attention on. Yep. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. That's job. exactly. So this yeah. is your longest so far, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you going for a long run? Like hundred and eight. I want to. That's my plan. We'll we'll see, but um it's not necessary, but uh, you know, if you feel like it, go for it, you know? Yeah, we'll see. And uh you're eating in between the fasts. How how has that been? It, no, not very not very good. It's it's pretty hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's very hard, yeah. Well and also like the people around you and everything. So it's just you have to I have to like change a lot of things. Yeah. But yeah, and um, but you know, raw food would be like fruits and vegetables. You eat raw would be the best, right? I've done, yeah, I've done like long, like months on raw, and I felt amazing. And but then I go back to you know grains and just yeah, yeah, yeah. The addictions would come back. Quickly. Yeah, yeah. Good. Well, yeah. You work on your uh, lifestyle for sure. Yeah, it's always tricky. Well, fasting is much easier. It's way easier. I like. I don't have food. I don't have cravings. Um, I even I'm fine being around food. Yeah. People may find it weird because I'm like smelling their stuff. <laughs> it, it doesn't like trigger me. So, yeah. but the thought of eating it scares me because now that I'm 37 days in, I I have to work on that. Yeah. So I wish everyone around me was eating ripe fruit, and then I would be super happy. But <laughs> they're not. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Um, yeah, and it's a simpler lifestyle, and you have more time and clarity when you're fasting. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's also hard because I get a little bored, but <laughs> I'm, work I'm working on it. Everybody's complaining they have no time. <laughs> what they have. Yeah, you got much more time when you're on MFS, so, so use it. Use it. Keep yeah. busy. Uh, the energy's there. You're yeah. gonna have some days really low, but it doesn't matter. You know, you have way more time when you're not eating. Way yeah. more time. You get a second job. Uh, that, I'm, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice to have time. So like you can even if you don't like you can maybe if you're not if you don't have your own business, you can start thinking of ideas, you know, because now you have time. Yeah. Um, and clarity as well. Where yeah, I know what I want more, like so you have more information coming to you so you can you know, you can be more in tune, you know, yeah. and uh, and follow your passion. Yeah. Yes. Cool. yeah um what's your plan after this long fast um just fruit go back to just the hope the plan is um just fruit or maybe some greens but mostly mostly all fruit uh at least for as long as i fasted yes so, cool. mainly, so mainly raw maybe some cooked uh, uh, raw is easier when I when I get into the like the cooked like the cooked veggies um it triggers the, the, the yeah addictions yeah cravings yeah cooked foods addictive yeah <laughs> good and um, you want to eat six days a week or what are you planning I don't I don't know yet I've been watching all of these zooms that you guys do so I'm. Um, I'm I'm thinking it depends on like my environment, how good of the fruit I can get. Um, I don't know what I'll if I want you know want to drink juice afterwards, but I'm um, definitely I never did the I never kept the dry fasting, so I want to do that. Yeah. And yeah, um, the more days you eat, the more cravings you'll have. Mm -hmm. So maybe find a um, balance where you have some fasting days and, uh, you know, in the week, maybe three days and then four days of eating, you know, maybe also hybrid you can do or just maybe you can do juice and then fruit meal and vegetable meal maybe. Um, like uh, Vimal is doing that and he's doing really well. So he's uh, fasting three days a week. One of them is dry. So mm -hmm. liquid, dry, liquid, and then four days of eating clean fruits and vegetables, uh, or actually all fruits, but like savory fruits as well, mm -hmm. like uh, maybe cooked zucchini or something uh, as the savory meal. But he would have the juice at the beginning of the day, and then he would have fruits, and then um, savory fruits afterwards, and it worked for him. So everybody would find, you know, it, it's not easy to it's, it's not easy to put a protocol because everybody wants a different level you know of um, uh, cleansing after the full master fast yeah, yeah. Uh, but you'll always find that fasting is much more fun than eating it which I'm sure you have experienced already yeah so yeah it's tricky it is not easy I mean I, I fell off my master fast weekly <laughs> <laughs> I was eating one to two days a week and I fell off and it's not fun. Um, I definitely, but it's, 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 again, I'm learning, you know, I guess I didn't still didn't learn <laughs> after three and a half years. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when you, sometimes for me, when I fall off, it's so hard to get back on. Like it's so hard to not keep rolling downwards, I guess, but, but I Honestly, yeah. There's no other way. I don't yeah. know any other way. Yeah. I don't know any other way. We we must go like this at, at the beginning. Hopefully, less you know ups and downs, but uh, like more gentle, gentle up and down. Yeah. Uh, but we have we. This is the only way. You would have to learn. Yeah. When you're ready, you would go further. You know. Yeah. Well, and I find that every time I fall off, um, I like I go down like less far down so first it was vegan food then it was let you know cooked food then it was you know so hopefully that that helps me but <laughs> yeah that's great yeah yeah, yeah. You know, the cooking is uh it puts the food in that into a, a higher gan state is so it's got a, more energy packets and that's why it's very addictive but the problem is the the matter of it is uh, more obstructive you know like uh, when we're cooking uh, the tea for example we're using the energy of the uh, herbs in the water we're not taking in the fiber. physical aspects of the, the fiber or anything and uh, then it's 
you know, we don't have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. But when we cook food, we're taking in everything. And uh, we have to deal with the obstructionness, obstructionness of the food. <laughs> and it's, you know, with fruit, um, even cooked, it, it's not um, anywhere near what vegetables are. Yeah, like greens would be hard to digest. <clears throat> even cooked. But, um, yeah, cooked fruit is, uh, uh, is the, the better choice if you're going to cook anything. Eat cooked fruit, you know, the, either the uh, regular fruits or the botanical fruits like uh, zucchini, uh, so, uh, eggplant. Uh, so, a cooked zucchini is better than like steamed zucchini, is easier to digest than raw spinach, for example. I would think bread? so. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's we're, we're learning a lot. The best is when you're when we're eating is uh, to eat fruit is is the best. We know that it's the least obstructive. Um, but at least now we're understanding um, of why and who and where of all the different foods and so on and so forth because it all has to do with the levels of obstruction. Instead of looking at everything as nutrition, we're we're deficient calories and all that bull crap, <laughs> which just doesn't make any sense when you start dwelling in this kind of lifestyle you start seeing the truth for what it is, because it's in plain sight. The energy doesn't come from these foods. You know, when you start eating, where's your energy go? It goes, <laughs> the body's got to work so hard again to learn how to process everything. And then it has to draw more energy in. And it takes time for the body to readjust because it has to draw more energy to digest and process all that food. But um, the uh, as time goes on and you... Uh, uh, go through more and more of these experiences, uh, you start to see, um, you know, the body, requ the body requires much, much less, and it does better with less, you know, including, uh, you know, liquids and so on and so forth. Over, after you do this for several years, you're not going to be drinking anywhere near as much or eating anywhere near as much as you used to do. Yeah. It's just, it just so happens. Unless you fall into an addictive state again, where there's a lot of emotional stuff happening, blah 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 and it happens it happens with some of us and it's okay but um you know um we got to stay focused and committed to the lifestyle uh if if we're gonna have some successes in this because uh it's not going to happen in one fast two fast three fast four fast it's a lifestyle that we choose this path to partake in and um we continue to um master it and, and learn from it because uh, it's, we're here in this plane, um, we're going to have to deal with obstructions at every single level all the time, Metal, uh, phys uh, physical, mental, and emotional. We're dealing with these things continuously in this experience. So uh, we must master how to deal with all these obstructions at all these different levels. And once we start to master some of them, uh, we gain more and more of an understanding and uh, we can find more and more balance. That's really uh, this, what I've learned in these three decades with the uh, fasting lifestyle. It's never ending. It's, we, we're always beginning. <laughs> we're always experiencing. And it's always, uh, all, these, all the experiences are wonderful um, because it's all part of the process. The only biggest thing that we really need to be careful, which we keep stressing over and over, is when you do a long fast, when you're up into the, you know, 20, 30 days and, and more, you have to be very prudent, very careful breaking the fast because the food is going to kill you, not the fast. Yeah. Food will kill you. Food kills everybody. I haven't seen food not kill anybody. It's always the food. <laughs> it's anything people ingest. You know, you over, overdose on drugs, you're eating the drugs, right? Or you inject it. You're, you're consuming. It's still a form of eating if you want to look at it that way. You know, doctors uh, used to say for many years, if diet, they, some of them still do, diet has nothing to do with your, you know, it doesn't matter what you eat, it has nothing to do with your illness, blah, blah, blah. But take these pills. What? If diet has nothing to do, why am I eating these pills? It's still a form of eating. It's, you see how blinded the intellect from being uh, yeah. programmed all those years. They, yeah. they can't see the truth for what it is right in front of them. Intellect is a knife, like I said, it's a sharp knife that cuts through all the bull. 
if we use the intellect to justify who, what, where, when, why, we're just going to get in trouble. If it was just fall into the ego stuff and so on and so forth. So, um, you know, we don't have all the answers, but uh, you, you will find all the answers through fast for yourself. They, they will start showing up. You will start asking the proper questions and the answers will show up mysteriously right in front of you. Wow, why didn't I see that before? Because <laughs> the answers were always there. It's just that we have what I like to say is obstructions in the way for us to see the answers. You know, um, listening to all the different people going through fast, we're hearing a lot of answers until we, we actually go through it. Then it registers, my, oh, that's what that person was saying, and, and you understand it. And then you start understanding more and more of what other people have gone through, the similar things. And that's the beauty of connecting with people um, and, and uh, tr you know, going on the same path of this uh, art of subtraction, which I like to call it, because it truly is an art uh, to master uh, uh, this type of lifestyle. Uh, just like anything else you do in life, you know, if you're, if you're doing work, you eventually start mastering what you're doing every day, or you're in a sport, or whatever, you know, race car driver, or whatever, this, that, you're, you're, you're mastering, you know, a cook is mastering, you know, putting things together. It's all about mastery. It's all art. And uh, this whole lifestyle is an art. And uh, if you take it as that, then you will uh, grow and expand each time you do one, because you keep stripping the layers back. And we get more and more clarity from our soul because we're always connected to soul, but there's that veil, that fog of all those obstructions that we can't get clarity. It's always there. We can't get disconnected. It's impossible. You know, we're all our uh, physical, mental, emotional bodies are all intertwined. We can't separate them. We can't separate them. Until uh, we die. Yeah, once we jump the fence, and we leave only the physicality behind. <laughs> so, it's awesome. Awesome. You're doing great. Um, stay focused. Mm, you know, um, have you been through any healing reactions? Um, not really. How much dry fasting are you doing? Um, that I also had a question about that. Um, the weeklies, 24. The dailies, 12. Um, and then the monthlies, I only made it to, uh, the two monthlies I ever did, I only made it to 33 hours. Okay. But, um, but that's kind of like, I think for me, that's pushing it. Mm -hmm. um, so I was wondering if, if it'd be all right if I did like uh, 26 or 27 hour weeklies or if I should keep it at 24. Keep it at 24 and do your best to increase your monthly. Maybe do some herbs, like there are different levels of mm -hmm. dry. So if you want to help yourself, <clears throat> if you feel it's too much, you can take the, dry, the tinctures. Um, if that's not enough, you can take the uh, like one ounce of the, one ounce is it? Yeah, half an ounce, up half to one ounce, ounce max. Um, of juice every hour, uh, mm -hmm. alternating juice and tea every hour until you complete. You know, maybe you can do 48 hours, 36, 48 hours. Yeah. Uh, would be good enough, I would say, for monthly. Okay. If you want to push it a little bit more than the weekly, that's the whole idea, to go further. Yeah. So I wouldn't push the, the weekly, keep the weekly 24. This way you have enough energy for the monthly. Yeah, okay. Um, and how much juice are you drinking? Um, around two quarts. Uh, sometimes I have to like force myself a little bit, but I, I try not to do less. Than, I try to do like two to a little more than two. Yeah, very important that you maintain about two. Yeah. For, for sure. Because uh, you need that washing keep continue going through <laughs> yeah and how many enema, how many liters of enema uh quite a bit since i have so much time um i only have an enema i don't have anything else yet um but i fill it up like i probably fill it out like average four when i i don't know if that's eight liters i don't know how much in the red bag yeah, most I would say most of them are two liters. So maybe 
Yeah. But one good thing is that I'm finally like clearing up a little bit. For the, the first 30 days I did in April, I was ridiculous, like how much came out. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, then, and then in October too, just those nine days, a ton. And then now also, but finally around day 20, it stopped, it started slowing down. So that's good. Yeah. Don't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh amazing yeah uh, it could be held in this area <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> like it's mind-boggling my goodness gracious <laughs> never stop <laughs> i guess when we stop eating <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially after the three day, three day dries, you know, the end of the month when you just squeeze. Usually that day five, I don't know. For me, like, it's, I'm not eating anything. And you think, where the hell did it come from? Exactly. After the long dries, yeah. Yeah, that's the, um, that's where the most interesting things come. After a long dry, you have like things dying inside, you know. <laughs> The worst smell, the biggest mucus, you know, the longest mucoid plaque, yeah. Awesome. I used to call them my little alien friends. I never mm-hmm. really investigated them. I thought, oh, there's an alien coming out. <laughs> yeah. Where the, f- you know? the bile, oh yeah, lots of bile after long dries. The bile, dark yellow, very smelly toxic yeah yeah for the beginning you know first few years people want to investigate and after a while it doesn't matter just get out, get, <laughs> get out. <laughs> you're not interested anymore because <laughs> you've seen all kinds of aliens coming out and what nothing else is going to surprise you really. <laughs> oh boy all right so uh what are we, oh, we're already coming up to two hours. Okay. So uh, if everybody's uh, done, we uh, we can call our close. <laughs> and uh, awesome to have everybody on board and supporting each other, you know, and see how everybody's doing. And everything's, everything's good. Everything's going well. Um, just stay focused and continue the path and allow it to happen. It's... Uh, you know, yeah, we're going to go through challenges. You know, we're all going to go through different challenges. It's okay. Um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm one to be able to do things um, much more focused when there's no distraction. If you throw me in the middle of a forest and a bush, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> but, you know, like everybody else, you know, same thing. You know, you get distracted and enticed and so on and so forth. And, um, with everything around us, but um, we continue. We stay focused. Stay focused. It's all all part of our growth, you know. The universe knows what we are ready for. Yeah, yeah. everything's exactly the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> Perfection of creation. We're all going to learn our lessons through whatever the universe throws at us. <laughs> but uh, we're the director, and we can choose different paths so all is well so okay let's uh, call it a close then mm-hmm. thank you so much again keep that plasma mm-hmm. love always flowing much love to everyone and uh we'll see you back on the uh, on the board mm-hmm. <laughs> love you all ciao ciao love you thank you love everyone mwah, mwah. <laughs> Uh, Robbie, yeah, I want to include some plasma pudding, but couldn't face it. So I remembered about dehydrating some, so I have done that. And that is great. Yeah, yeah, that's another way you can get it through you. Excellent, Robbie. Um, that's even when we're eating. I, I'm, I, when I choose to eat, I'm still using uh, the plasma pudding uh, a lot. Not, not every single meal, but I use it a lot. I, I continually keep that stuff going through me when I'm eating um, because uh, we know what it does. <laughs> So thank you again and see you all later. Ciao.